You know, there's something interesting about that mountain, and we'll find out what it is in this episode of Journey of Life. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to back to the journey of life. Uh, I was trying to put some railing in here, and uh, I was looking at what we had, and apparently there isn't anything that, anything that can actually fill that gap. Uh, there's the holders, which uh, unfortunately go in the middle, so I can't really, doesn't even want to place the stairs, so that's actually no good, but I can set myself up a little corral if I wanted to, uh, but that's fine. Uh, I have been a little bit busy after the last episode. I did uh, a little bit of resource gathering. I, as you can see, I got a box full of planks. I got sticks. I got thread. Or what are those? Plant fibers? What are they? Yeah, plant fiber. Uh, we're actually going to need that because we're going to get into uh, uh, making a lathe today. I have uh, smelted a whole bunch of nails too, so... As you can see, I got a bunch in there, and I got a few left in here. Still got some copper nuggets if you ever need to make an ingot. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, build this thing. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious to see what kind of recipes actually be made with it, if it can actually make planks. Uh, this is why I made so many planks. I cut down a whole bunch of trees and stuff like that. And uh, we'll need the rope, too. So let's go and place this down first. Now, uh... I'm assuming the, the powered side is over here. Uh, I kind of want to have the windmill in that corner. So we can always move this afterwards too. Okay, we'll place that. And then I gotta make some rope. Uh, another thing I want to do too is uh, if I get some time, we might gotta try to get some leather going and see what we can do with that. At least get a bigger backpack. Uh, the reason why I'm doing the lead today is I actually want to. I'm sorry. I, I just woke up, as you can tell. Um, uh, yeah, I want to do uh, get the map going. And as far as I know, the only way to get the wood chips is through the actual lathe. So let's go ahead and craft up a whole bunch of rope here. It shouldn't take too long. Oh, wow, I had all that much on me. Uh, we're going to need them. All right, so I might as well get the rest of the pieces of the puzzle in together. Uh, we do have a... A windmill we got a place. We might have to bring this out here just because if we're going to be working out here. Might as well bring our workbench with us. <laughs> I actually like that sometimes. Comes in handy. Alright, uh, I'm not sure what the connection for the uh, windmill is. Uh, this is a lot bigger than it was before. Wow. Hmm. Alright, we'll put that there with a lot of leg. And surprisingly cheap for how big it is. Three stages, too. Wow. Uh, where was that thread? Was I actually crafting on me? Yes, I was. Okay. So, let's get the hammer. Let's actually finish building this thing first. I can actually get the hammer, not my fist. We basically got to build it off of this. The connectors are a certain length, so everything's got to be connected to this. Okay. Nice. Alright. Uh, can't upgrade it. Uh, it. Tells us what our RPM is, all that stuff is. Now, the way this works is it all works on gears. Like, uh, you can see you got 6 tooth gears, 12 tooth gears, 18 ge tooth gears. Um, we'll th go ahead and finish this up. Now, if it's going to be like the sawmill, then you're going to need certain speeds to do certain things. Uh, if you don't have enough speed or enough torque, it doesn't actually do the recipe. Oh, I gotta build a... What is that? Uh, so I need an 18 tooth gear for this thing. Okay, I'll go over here. Uh, I guess a vertical connector is what we need. Or maybe not. Hmm. So apparently there should be gears I can make too. Uh, let me look into this. Okay, so this is one of those moments where you don't think of 
what potentially could be the obvious. Now, I looked on Steam to figure this out, and as soon as I saw it, they were referring to something else that isn't the game, and it occurred to me, well, why didn't I try this? Well, apparently, if you put the log block on here, you get gear, gear recipes, and look at that, wood chips, too. But let's go ahead and make this. Uh, that's uh, one of those moments that make you feel stupid. But, let's see what this does. What's the progress on that? Are you not gonna... Hmm. Wonder if I actually... Oh, there we go. There it is. So yeah, it's kinda bugged you, sorta. Of, sort of. Gotta go the whole length of it like the logs. But, now I actually get my gears. Huh. Yeah, that's definitely a face palm moment. My nose still hurts. Okay, let's try this. Alright. So we put the sprocket here. Actually, no, we don't do it that way. We actually pick it up and we hammer it in place. Okay, what do we need now? It's asking for more. What's this? A 12 to tooth gear. Okay. Uh, let's go and do that. I gotta grab more blocks, I think. Okay. Do uh, that. Uh, should be good on inventory space. Famous last words. Alright. Yeah, I, I, that did not occur to me whatsoever. To even look here. Oh, that's not what I want. I want an axe. Probably have to make a few of them, so... Go ahead and do that. And I like how you can see the, sort of see the progress, too. Okay, one more hit. Okay, now pick those up. Alright. Back to the lathe. Yeah, I have to go and build this, and I thought that was what it was supposed to be, and I was like, oh, no, I, it's a connector, I actually need the gears for it. And what do we need now? A six-tooth gear. Okay, let's go and do that, and then hopefully this should be done. What I'll do is I'll probably make a couple off-camera, and then uh, I can finish up the windmill after that. Oh, I'll make another 12. All right, well, let me get this done, I'll be back. Okay. So I made a few six-tooth gears, so let's uh, go ahead and get this back together. And there we go. Alright, so let's move station. Uh, it tells us our speed. And this will tell us our... Uh, our whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit. Uh, recipes, yes. Okay, let's go ahead and move this. And let's try to get somewhere a little bit better. And I hate the rotation of this thing. At least this is going a little bit better than some like some of the furniture. And it snapped. Oh, there we go. Oh. Let me try it from this side. I'm having trouble. Hello? Hello? Actually, what I'll do, let's move it over here. Let's put uh, the horizontal connector on first. Alright. Now that I know what I'm doing... Alright, so we'll take a horizontal connector, and the horizontal connector will connect right onto there. And, let's see, what do I need for this? Four planks, I got the planks, and I should have the sprockets on me. Okay, uh, let's get this out of the way. Um, hmm. Destroy, yes. I want to destroy that, not complete it. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, fine. You don't want to work then. Then we'll just move it over here. I think I might actually have to use that connect here. Uh, maybe. Try to move this again. Put that over here. Grab it, you. And... Aha! We have a working lathe. Alright. Hmm. What should we put on here? Let's try a log. That's not a log. I need inventory space too. 
I'm gonna have to make a box for chat, uh, sprockets. Or gears, whatever you want to call them. Cogs. So many names for them. And we'll even take these too and see what we can make with those. Okay. First, let's try the log. Which does nothing. Unless I'm placing it on wrong. No, oh, that's a plank. Okay, logs don't work. And neither does this. Hmm. Yeah, it's good for whatever it's doing. Hmm. I think I'm missing something. Or... a good question. Let me look into this. A stick is the key. And I figured that out all, all by myself too. I didn't actually have to look that up. And this is just for making handles. So let's go let's go watch it in action. Is Ash going to do something? Nope. Just hold E on. It does it automatically. Yeah. And it doesn't give wood chips. So that means I gotta go cut down some logs and then cut them, like, cut them into blocks. And cut them into... Uh, so that's just for tools. Okay, that's fine. Um, cut them into blocks, cut them into wood chips. So I'll bring you back in the morning. Okay, so I got some log blocks. So let's go ahead and uh, make some wood chips. Uh, I don't know how many I needed. I think it was only three. So I should run upstairs and check quickly go up to the press. I don't think we actually need wood chips for anything else, so I'd rather not make more than I need to. And I need ten. Alright, well, I guess I'm making more than I want to. Anyway. Alright, so this is just a matter of uh, making wood chips. See how these things look. Swing at the air and actually make progress. Oh wow, that actually <laughs> made the ten I needed. Alright, let's go check this thing out and check out this map. Okay. Go ahead and make one paper. It's a shame they don't have any animation on this one either. You would almost think that this would require wind power too. Or at least use some stamina. But, again, game's still early. Being rewritten and all that stuff. So there is paper. So, uh, I get I probably could do it in my inventory, but we'll go here just because it's in here somewhere. Uh, map. Now, this is, is this going to be like a full map or I'm uh, going to have the fog of war deal where I have to explore to investigate some of it? I think it, that's what it's doing. Like, look how long it's taking to generate. So it must be like Ashley render an image of the world on the map so we might be able to see what's on this island you know i have done a little bit of exploring before i started the let's play in a previous version when they first released it but i never really never really explored now i think oh wow oh, there's actually some snowy areas okay so it shows me i don't know if you can see it i can't actually show you with uh my mouse or anything, but it's up on the upper right. You can see some white lettering. And there appears to be some sort of ring this way. Hmm. Uh, go investigate, shall we? Okay, sunrise is in the east. So that's north then, apparently. Oh, uh, yeah, map. It'd be nice if I could actually see my icon on the map. No way to zoom in or anything. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I see. I understand where I am now. Wow, there's a lot on this map. Hmm. Let me... Let me do a little bit of exploring. I'll bring you back see if I update on the map. Yes, I do actually show it. You can see me up there. I'm in sort of like in a grassy area. So that's where the cave is. You can actually... 
see some of the things I've placed, but I'm actually curious about that giant ring in the middle of the map now. I definitely have to do, do some exploring. Uh, I'm just looking around, seeing if there's anything else. Definitely a big map, though. Wow. Huh. We definitely have to go do some exploring. Okay. Well, that comes in handy. Look at that windmill just spinning along. I wonder if elevation affects it. Like some windmills, or if there's just sort of a thing where they can build this in a, in a cave up against the wall and still work. I am not too sure. But, yeah, the next thing I want to do, let's see, I do have some rope on me. I got the planks. Uh, I'm going to need some sticks and some rocks. Okay, I got rocks up here. Um, that's clay. I think I have sticks on me, actually. Uh, no, I don't. I got some feathers here. Because I want to make a bow and arrow. Uh, what else am I missing? Sticks. Uh, I think sticks are over here. Yes, they are. Uh, another thing I actually did, too, is a uh, box here. All the loose stuff I've been picking up off the ground I've been throwing in here for fire fuel for the, the forge and the furnace and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and use a crafting table, or a crafting bench, not an actual table. Oh yeah, I brought it outside. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this out of the way, because it's in my way right now. Okay, so it's going to be under tools here. We'll go ahead and make a bow. And then we'll make a whole bunch of arrows on it. I'm guessing that you can actually pick these things back up and reuse them. I don't know if they have a durability or not, but that we will find out. I'll put a few things away too, just so I'm not carrying stuff around. Uh, eventually, I'm going to have to pay a visit to one of those boars and try to get some leather. Uh, maybe we'll even do that right now. Uh, let's see here. Well, that thing looks like it's going to snap in a minute. Alright, let's pick that up, pick that up. What if there's a quiver? Not too sure about that. What do I have for... Oh, I still got lots of stuff I get rid of. I don't know why I didn't put the rest of it away. But here I am rambling like an idiot. Well, I'm trying to be a YouTuber, so I'm halfway there. Okay, I'll put the blocks in there. Uh, and the sprocket. I don't need that anymore. I'll be a little while before we use them and once they start uh, releasing more updates. Uh, that's something I wanted. Okay. So, I should have... Oh, arrows on the table. I like that. Alright, let's make a few more. Just because... Uh, what am I missing? Rocks. Whoever, who would have thought I'd be using rocks at this point in time? While my, wa my, while my walls are covered in them. Okay, we've got a few more sticks. And, and then we go see about hunting some boars. Which are right there. I've got to be careful too because I can actually go through the foundation. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Well, not the foundation, uh, the floor. Yeah, the foundation, probably the fence too. Uh, do I have any more? Oh, yeah. I see it. Alright, well, I'll see what this thing can do. Is it going to be a release or a left click? Ah, it's going to be a left click. Rapid fire. You can tell there's no AI yet. You're not attacking me. Now, I saw there's a knife. I don't know if I actually need the knife to skin it. Yes, I actually got to make a knife. Okay, now I did see that in here. Uh, oh, I actually had the stuff I need to, to make it. Cool. Not very tough, are you? Okay, well, I'll go ahead and pick that back up, put it on my hotbar, grab my arrow back, which is only one. 
All right, now six, right? Yes. This is my knife, right? Oh, yeah. Well, kind of gruesome, but it works. I don't know why I can't do this with an axe. And I guess that is it. Okay, I got lard, hide, bone. And I think the bone you can grind into bone meal. That's what we need the millstone for. All right, cool. Well, that means we have some more stations to build. Let's go ahead and get the leather works up. And maybe we'll build this one outside because technically you want it to dry, so it's best to have it outside in the air. So we need a drying rack. Uh, place one there. Is that a hammer? No, it's not. I should be able to tell because I can just look at the top of the screen. And I need those planks again. Look at us. We're making progress today. Might not be the best progress, but we're making progress. Well, actually, we are. Sort of. Okay. Oh. Got that mouse issue going on again. Alright, uh, not going to do much until we do... Do we do this? I do. Now, uh, what's it going to tell me? That wheel looks like... That, that uh propeller. Looks like it's about to come right off of there. Oh, that's actually pretty f fast. Okay. So we got the got the drying rack, and then we need the tanning rack, I think. Process dry hides. Okay, and then we get this one. Turn this one this way. I like how it just drops on the top. Okay. And what do we need for this? Nothing, because I have everything except the hammer. I know I'm good with my hands, but not that good. Alright. So we can go ahead and grab the hides. Uh, if I can grab them. Uh, if I have the inventory space, which I don't. Surprise, surprise. Oh, the first thing I'm going to be building is another backpack. Okay, let's get those out of here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to need anything to actually tan the leather, though. I don't know if there's... Tanning's actually a thing. But, go ahead and drag and drop. Gotta love that drag and drop interface, huh? Okay, now what do I do here? Um, do I actually need the knife on this? Hmm. I think I might need the knife. Aha. You gotta scrape your hides. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Got that progression change. I like it. That's cool. All right, now I'm gonna make a new backpack. Where are you? You are gonna be tools, tools, bandages, just two leather. Hey, we're getting an upgrade. Come on, go on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Where's my backpack? Oh, there's my arrows. More arrows. And more arrows. And... Uh, where's my backpack? Uh, hello? Uh, excuse me. Oh, there it is. I see you. Aha. Oh, yeah. It won't let me actually... What? What's going on here? That's uh, 20 slots. Yes. Nope. Uh, go ahead and pick that up. There we go. Much better. Is there actually anything in here? That's what I'm wondering now. Hmm. Did I leave anything in there? Did I lose anything? 
That's cool. Storage. Uh, let me organize this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got myself sort of organized. Definitely got a lot more storage space now, which is good. Uh, we got ourselves a map, so we might be able to do a little bit of exploring. In fact, uh, still got a little bit of time. Maybe we'll go check out what that ring is down over sort of the middle there. Uh, that's actually that way, I do believe. Yeah, because there's a cave... In front of us, that's those two white dots. If I go around there to the back side, I'm able to see something. Um, I'm actually going to do this in the morning. Because I, it'll probably get dark by the time I get back. And torches are unfortunately useless right now. So, I'll be back. Gotta love a power nap. Love how the day goes by so quick. Okay. So, I do believe it is this way. Uh, one thing I did notice is that uh, the meat and the lard will spoil, but... I don't think there's actually much we can do with it. I don't know about the the lard. I know the the meat we can eat, but currently we we, we replenish while we sleep. All right. So the map tells me uh, I follow this path and I go around the mountain. We should come to a stony area. So I do have to be careful. This is unexplored territory for me. So I have no idea what's around. I do want to keep checking the map too, see what I can see, and it doesn't look like there's going to be much. In fact, it almost looks like i got to go the other way around. Have a look up here. Do a little bit of exploring. I wonder if those watchtowers are still up there. Interesting. Matt tells me I am on the coast. So it would have to be up that way. Let's go check it out. Because I know, like I said, this is where the... Uh, the watchtowers were... There's a couple of watchtowers that were actually sort of toppled down the ground, sort of in ruins. But it's actually nice you get a nice view up here and as far as I know you can build just about anywhere in this game if I wanted to build something right here I could if I wanted to build it up on top of that that rock that is a possibility also wondering too how many caves there are on the map I know I could look it up but it's just so much easier to actually explore and find out for yourself fortunately stamina lasts a long time unless you're jumping I wonder if there's any other things we can run across, too. Do have to watch out for the wildlife, because I don't know what there is or where it is, or what troubles I may run across. Okay, so I think if I go up here, should be able to get a nice view. At least I don't have to worry about getting lost now. As long as I know I have time to make it, then I can... That's quite the terrain. I like it. I can only imagine trying to get through here at night. End up off a cliff before you knew it. Okay, well this isn't going to actually show me anything, really. Okay, that, that is... that another one? No. No, no, we're looking... at there. What we want to do is want to go up this way. All right, let's see if I can make it up here. Fortunately, it's still not even midday yet, so we got lots of time. Again, that's if I don't get lost or in a spot I can't escape from. Wow, this is high up. All right, so it's just up here, whatever it is. As soon as I saw that on the map, I got to take a look at it. Now, does my house show up from it here? It does. Nice. You can actually see it. It's right there. Gotta build it bigger. Giant eyesore that sticks out of the landscape. Is this anything interesting? Are those clouds are actually smoke. What is that? That is nothing. Is this a volcano? I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I'm seeing like a uh, smoke or something coming up from 
behind this. Interesting. Oh my god, I think it's an actual volcano. Can't be. I don't know, that was a thing. Wow. Wait, the view. Yeah, I didn't see the watchtowers. They were up here before. I guess they took them out when they changed the map. It's a long way down. It is. I don't believe it. It's an actual volcano. We gotta... We gotta explore. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here, and I'll bring you back if I find anything interesting. Okay, well, this seems to be about the end of the road, not unless I decide to build up there, which is going to take an absolute age to do in this game. Uh, but certainly quite the view up here. Like, there's the, the little fortified area. Our house is just over there, and you can see the river going through here, and I think the, uh, yeah, the other cave I found was, like, over here. But it shows you what there is to explore. Like, uh, let's see if I can go on the other side here. There's actually a couple more waterfalls that'd be interesting to check out. There might be some sort of cave set up. Let me check that out. It'd be nice if uh, we run a little faster. Let's actually see if we can get up on top of this one. I'm actually wondering now about this volcano if it's set to erupt at a certain time or if it's just there for just just for show. I don't know if I'll be able to get up here. Yep, but I've learned in games, if grass grows on it, you can walk on it. Now let's try not to run too far up ahead. See, there's the waterfalls over there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Living on the edge. Of course, if this is the real world, I, I do it if you catch me up here. I'd be laying flat on the ground, hugging it, hanging onto the grass and roots and every single piece of dirt I could. There we go. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple of waterfalls over there. It almost looks like there could be something to explore. Uh, lots of different things to to check out. Definitely gonna have to go explore in one of these episodes. Okay, I actually ended this a little a little early, and I thought we I'd finish up here and uh, point something out. I don't know if you can actually see it on the bottom of the map. Okay, let's see if we can find the volcano. The volcano is in front of me. So if I look that way, I'm actually looking towards the bottom left of the map. There's actually a village over there, or some sort of town. Someone had mentioned this in the comments, and I didn't know that it was actually in the game, because I haven't actually explored But it should be. That looks like a place to get lost in. Hopefully, everything is actually rendered here, or uh, has a hitbox. All right, uh, map. Okay, so volcano there, so... Yeah, there should be a village that way. Somewhere over there. Can't see it right now. But I think we'll explore that one in the next one. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Now, how do I get down from here without jumping?